Guys, me and Fish Guy Jack, we said... Screw it! It's a beautiful day! The tunas are here. We've gotten a lot of good reports that the tuna, the blackfin tuna, are coming. They're showing up on the coast of Florida here. So we want to take any chance we got to get out there and start fishing. So I got a beautiful dozen pilchard right in my car. I just picked them up from the store. Me and Jack are heading to my house now. We're going to jump on that boat. We're going to be fishing deeper today we're going for those bigger tuna and i said might as well bring you guys out there i want to show you guys what it's like being a fish guy 24 7 which includes fishing for epic fish so welcome to fish guy chris let's film an epic banger today hopefully we catch some meat that we can eat let's do it guys we got a, a dozen pilchard and four gogs so we got our gogs in here so four gogs one's dead we had five One's dead, so we got four. And then we got our pilcher here, dozen. Taking this boat out, look at this beautiful day. No, not a cloud in the sky. Hopefully we can get some bites. Let's get some fish on the deck. Let's get some blood on that deck. Come on, something on the jig. Oh, oh, I just got a nibble. I just got a bite. Yeah, there's a fish down there. That's not a joke. That's not a drill. That's a tuna. I just got hit. How do you nibble that and not come back for more? Come on, Mr. Pilch. Ooh. You frisky? Okay. See you, bud. Come on. Oh, he's a good pilch. That's a good pilchard. That's a good pilchard. He's peeling. He's going to get smoked. Let's go. Oh, fail. Catch him, dude. Just catch him. Let's go, Jack. Let's go. Why did that Watch out, Jack. I'm going to put heat on him, though. Yeah, yeah, play heat. If I lose him, I lose him, but I'll try and catch him. Sails are everywhere, bro. They're everywhere. He was on top, like, whoa, everywhere. That was lit. Damn, I thought that was our blackfin, bro. I know, I thought that was the blackfin. Oh, there he That's is. sick. Let's go. <laughs> Here, you want this? Put this on. All right. It's been so long since I've caught a sail. Interview with the sail fisherman. How did the bite feel? Felt great. No, hit the down bait. Thought we had a nice tuna. But, but it was a it was a jumper. It came up flying, dude. Yep. It was sick. I hope I caught that on the camera because it was freaking in the air, like literally an airplane. We got, feeling. We moved the deer field. We got a bite. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, whoa, Rippy. Slow down. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. So because you can't eat or gaff them or anything, we just want to catch it as quickly as possible because we want to get the lines back out for uh, meat fish, tuna, wahoo. So I'm going to literally chase him down with the boat and Jack's just reeling as fast as he can up there so we can just get him in really quick, release him, and then we can get back out there. Where is he? It's right here. Turn left. There he goes. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, sick. He's pissed. Yeah, he's pissed. He might come up again. He is not happy. He's near the surface. There he is. Oh! He's jumping way oh, there he is again! Oh, he's still walking! Dude, he's jumping way more than mine did. Mine yeah, jumped like twice. Dude, he jumps. Oh! oh let's go! Let's go! Woohoo! I love when they jump! That's so Look epic. at him go! He's he's not go. happy ah. that he's hooked. Sailfish, literally fastest fish in the ocean, probably. One of the most sought after game fish here in South Florida. People fly from all across the world to catch sailfish like this. You know what? It's important to get on them, crank on them hard, kick their butt basically so they can swim off strong. If you fight them for too long, they're known just to sink down and just die, even if they swim off. But this one, we're kicking his ass. We're kicking, we're, we're kicking his ass. Jack's putting the heat on him. Oh, Someone just jumped over there? Yeah. Another sail? I don't think it was a sail. Oh, oh, those are tunas. Those are tunas. Where, where, where? Those are tunas. Oh, those, oh, are yeah, tunas. those are tunas. Those are tunas over there. All right, let's get, let's kick, let's get. Get this thing, get that thing in, dude. There's tunas blowing up over there. Good eyes, Jack. Yeah, Holy shit, get him in, Jack. Work him, work him, work that fish. Woo, look at this guy. Out of gear, Jack. There he is, there's the fish. That's pretty much a caught fish, Jack. It's a sail. They're so big, man. I know, they're huge. So strong. Look at that, there he is. Look at the monster fish right there. That's bigger than my sail. That's a big sail. Let's go, let's go. Put him in the saltwater pond. Yeah. Come here, baby. This one's way more little than mine. There he is. Woo! Oh, that was the last jump. He's, he's toast. You can't turn really, something guys, like that. These fish are so 
That's a five feet. Oh yeah. Minimum. So strong, it's pure muscle. Pelagic fish, these things swim so fast, like 70 miles an hour, something crazy stupid like that. So they exert so much energy when fighting. Let's go. That's epic. Let's go. Can't beat that. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Still going, dude. Now the thing is, you gotta be careful grabbing these things because their bill can stab you in the face. <laughs> Look at that guy. Chris, can you get him? Yep, I can get him. If you, if you turn this head. You're good, Jack, don't worry. Uh, this thing is big. Come here. Come here. You got him? Hold yeah. tight, hold tight, hold tight. Wrangle him. Wrangle him, Chris. Yeah. Atta boy. Atta boy. Right on, baby. That's all right, buddy. Calm down. Let me get the fire. I guess we're sail fishing now. Look at that. Careful. On top of that bill. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. Okay. Wait, I want to get a pick. Okay. I got him. I got it. Dude, his sail, look at his sail. Look at his sail. Hey Jack, you can put it in gear. There's our bait. Yeah, put them both in gear. Just in case I drop them. Good revival on them. Woohoo! Good job, Jack. Yeah, look at that tail going. Look at that tail going. See that? That means he's got life. He's ready to go. Ready, Chris? Yep. Underwater? Yep. Yeah. There he goes. See you, bud. Off strong. Hell yeah. It's so lit. It's so lit. Let's go, <laughs> baby. Good driving. Let's go. Is he good? Let's go. Woo! That was lit. Woo now we got to go back in because we saw those tunas. Quick edit first, though. You guys always got to get the edit. Guys, what an absolutely insane day out on the water yesterday. It's crazy, last week I caught my very first sail, a big sail, it was pretty big, and then the following week, Fish Guy Jack gets out there and catches himself his own sail. That was insane. His was actually bigger than mine by like a, a decent amount. That thing was a big, big fish. Can't get sick of catching those. I mean, they are so damn cool. The way they jump out of the water, it has got to be one of the best fights in fishing. Sail fishing, tarpon fishing, those are the two most sought after here in Florida and we get to do it every day, living the fish guy lifestyle. It's fantastic. I love being a fish guy and I hope you guys love being a fish guy too because it, it is fantastic. Now the plan was originally to go out on the jet ski today and go to a new secret spot that I found that you can only get there on the jet ski. It's actually really, really windy today. I mean, it's a nice day. Not a cloud in the sky once again. Oh, well, there's a cloud. So I spoke too soon. It's really windy. So uh, we can't do that today. I was going to go to that spot and uh, there's just big crab holes. And I was going to get some big crabs in there. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. I think I'm definitely going to do that in the coming weeks. Just I want to see how big of crabs I can catch out of these weird looking holes in the sand. I want to give that a go. But we're changing gears with the weather. You got to deal with the weather. It's windy out. So I can't take the ski out because you guys won't be able to hear me. So we're going to change it up. It's a crystal clear water day in the canal. Sometimes it's really murky. Sometimes it's really clear. Today has to, happens to be one of those days where it's super clear, which I'm very grateful for. And we haven't chummed my dock in forever. My fish population has dwindled because I haven't been chumming them. But now since it's summer, I'm going to get a snook light soon. I need to start getting my fish back here. I need to start getting my fish back at the dock. And there's this one fish I'm targeting specifically. It's this giant trigger fish, trigger fish. It's this giant trigger fish that hangs around my dock. I see him every once in a while. And uh, that's what I'm targeting today. So I'm gonna try to lure him in with the chum and see if we can get him for my tank. That would be awesome. But if not, who knows what we're gonna catch. So let's get this chum going. I got the uh, classic chum block. It's absolutely beautiful, but I also am bringing out, I'm, I'm bringing out a secret bait. I need to find my chum bag though. I think it's missing. Um, I'm bringing out the secret bait that I have not used here before. I usually use shrimp. I'm gonna go with squid today to see if we can attract maybe some stingrays, some bigger fish with some big squid, maybe a big jack. 
Man, that would be epic. That would be fantastic. If you guys didn't know, I just wanted to mention this really quick. We're doing some seriously big stuff with the Fish Guy brand, with the Fish Guy lifestyle. And uh, we're doing like a 50% off sale for the next week on fishguy.shop. And then the site's gonna be shut down for, uh, for construction, if you wanna call it. We're, we're, uh, we got some big things in the works and we're gonna make a serious difference in the world as Fish Guys. So if you guys wanna get your Fish Guy gear now that we already have on the site, go check it out and then um, in a couple months, I'm gonna give you a little bit, some, some teasers along the way, but I'm not gonna spoil the announcement just yet. But stuff is coming that's very big. Let's chum in the water though, see what, see what we can attract here. All right, I found the old chum, uh, chum bag here. This is a beauty. Best chum bag in literally the world. It floats, so it, like you can reuse it. It's rubber, so you can reuse it. Absolutely fire. So I'm gonna call this the first inaugural chumming of the dock for the summer, for the near summer. It's not quite summer yet, but those tunas guys that you saw blowing up out there, you can barely see them in the back in the video clip that I that I showed, those things were missiles. They were huge, giant tunas. Big, 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 big tunas. So, we're a little upset that the sale happened to eat our uh, pilchard right at the wrong time, but it happens, it happens. But uh, hopefully we can get out there next time and not catch a sale and catch us some damn tuna. I want some tuna. Those things were big. I wish I could zoom in even more on the clip, but those things were missiles. So let's get this chum in the water. We're going with the uh, classic double grounded extra fine world's best chum. Mmm. How do the fish like this? I mean, it's so weird. Fish love it. So this dock is empty right now. The dock is empty. Oh, so not cool. We got to get fish here. This stuff is the stinkiest of all stinky. But when I do chum my dock, a lot of big fish come by, including this one time I was out here with you guys. And I didn't even realize when I was filming that a giant tarpon swam, swam underneath my dock. And one of you had to comment, hey Chris, look back at the footage. There's a giant tarpon. Still, I will never live that down. I'm still very upset about that. So if you guys see anything in the water, please let me know in the comments. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a beauty. So here she is, the old chum, the old chum bag, the old chum slick right here. This is gonna call as many things as possible. The reason why I'm doing this today is because I got time. I got the whole day to be out here. So hopefully this will call some fish rather quickly because uh, I wanna catch something cool. Puffers are already literally showing up as we speak. So I tossed her in, I actually tied a little extension rope to it so it floats out in the middle a little bit better instead of hanging on that wall. It's been in the canal for literally about 10 seconds. There's already about 500 puffer fish, so. That is the scum of the canal. The puffers and the catfish. Scum of the canal, okay? We don't like them, we want cooler fish. Now I chose to use some squid this time because I've never used it before, but I gotta let it defrost a little bit before I can use it. And I'm praying a big fish swims by because they love squid. All right, first cool fish of the day. Annoying fish, but cool, because I'm gonna start with the small fish first. I saw needlefish, I'm gonna catch them for you guys. I know everyone loves to see needlefish. I see so many comments all the time, catch me a needlefish. If I do catch something cool, I'm gonna try to put them in the saltwater pond for you guys. This wind is absolutely absurd, look at my hair, I look crazy. All right guys, I'm gonna give them their first little appetizer here. It finally defrosted, look how gross this thing is. I mean, that thing's a, a living thing. Like how creepy that thing is. Just so gross, man. How does this thing even eat? It's a very strange creature. All right, I'm gonna toss it in right in the middle to see, because the bigger fish will eat this, so hopefully we'll just toss it in, see what happens. Oh yeah, that's a nice vantage point for him. Look at that squid. That is the weirdest thing. So hopefully they all just, oh my God, look at that thing. Imagine catching those. We should try to catch like live ones of those. Those things are crazy looking. So the fish are gonna tear it up. Hopefully that sends some vibrations in the water and those bigger fish will come, or the cooler fish. The fish are not here. Once again, it's low tide, so the tide just started coming in. Fish guy hacks on his way here now, so he's gonna help me film, because it is so windy out here, I'm scared to set the tripod up. Camera will literally fly into the water, so we don't want that to happen. So to explain the logic behind the chumming is, at least for the dock, the chumming leads to the glass minnows. The glass minnows eat the chum, which leads to the bigger fish, the puffers, the snappers, which come in after them, then the bigger fish, then the bigger fish, and the bigger fish. It's literally a food chain. It is. Li this is literally the food chain challenge right now. Glass minnows to puffers, snappers, jack, shark, snook tarpon, etc. goes up. So you literally never know what you're gonna see. That's why I love doing this stuff. That's why I'm starting now. I'm not going crazy like the OG chumming videos where we, where we dump like tons of, tons of pounds of chum in here. That is for the Bars Buzzing channel. On this channel, we're just gonna be consistent. One chum block at a time, one chum block a day, couple squid here and there, and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make this thing an ecosystem. All right, finally I got my camera guy here, so there I can know. actually fish with you guys. I caught one thing, because I wasn't really fishing. <sighs> a little sand perch. You know, not the coolest fish in the world. <laughs> not even remotely a cool fish. This is probably the worst <laughs> fish. This is probably the worst fish in the world, and I might put him in my pond to get eaten by something 
that's bigger. So that's a sand perch, okay? And not everything goes as planned when fishing, as you know, because last time it was an epic fail trying to catch a million glass minnows, but I feel re re rejuvenated. I wanna catch, there's about five million glass minnows down there. If I can't catch one, I'm not a fish guy anymore. So we're gonna give it another go and then we're gonna use the secret bait, the squid, to try to catch something bigger. So I'm gonna try the ballet hoop one more time. Jack, what do you think? I think we should do it. Because last time was epic fail. I yeah. literally broke the net last time. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. Ballet hoop net, fish guys. Round two. You guys have been introduced before. Can I please catch a million glass minnows? All my fish love to eat them. I would like to put them in all my tanks. Let's see what happens. Now, they're all hanging out by the chum, so I'm gonna try to put it right next to the chum bag. Right there. Because if they go, if they all go in that, it's so shallow, I would catch so many of them. There's so much chum there. That's in prime position. See, look at them all. They're already all coming back in the chum. They're staying out of the net. Okay with being in the net. I'm gonna shake the chum bag. Right over top of the net. Let's give her a couple shakes. Now we're gonna let that sit. Let's watch them let all. Let it marinate. Let's watch, all, watch them all come into the net. I think I'm gonna get them this time. Let's do it. Fish guy Chris will not fail this time, I swear. The last time was epic fails. There's so many glass minnows here. <laughs> if I don't catch one, I'm exiled from the fish guy club. They're not as dumb as you would think though. They're staying away from the net until they get, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, oh, yeah. there's a lot of chum and I got some. Yeah, you got some. I got some, but I also got a lot of chum. So that's not good. It's okay, it's okay, it happens. Oh, one on the floor. Let's go. All right, I got about, I don't know, 10? That's a good amount. 20? We need more though. I want to literally get 100. Let's try to get 100. Let's do it. Let's do it. I didn't fail this time, so I'm still part of the club. Oh yeah, right there's a good toss. I'll let it ferment for a little bit, and then we will try it again. Now I'm going to toss a little piece of squid in there, inside the trap, to see, see what happens now. Check out this squid though, that is sexy. As we are letting that ferment, I'm gonna toss this thing out there actually. Believe it or not, snook, tarpon, jacks, they will eat dead things off the bottom. You know, everyone's always like, oh, you gotta use live bait, all this stuff. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. If we throw this thing out in the middle, one might go over and smoke it. So let's try it. I'm just gonna throw it out and then we'll pull the trap one more time and then we'll see if anything eats this. We send her out to the middle. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, all right, no one saw that. <laughs> Guggen move, Guggen move. That thing sink and just, just let her just let her ride. I'm gonna put her right here. Let's go. You got a puffer. Let's go. Oh my god, I got a bunch. I got so many more than last time. <laughs> they're loaded. Let's go. Oh they're loaded. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's go. They're loaded up. Let's go. So many on the floor. Shoot, I gotta get them off the ground. Thank you for being patient, buddy. I'm gonna let you go back. <laughs> This is the most gentle, patient puffer in the He's world. A cool guy. See, I respect this <laughs> this puffer fish. I respect him. That's a fish guy puffer fish. He's not freaking out. He knows I'm a, I'm his friend. Let's right. See him. Look at all these glass minnows, guys. Look at that. Let's go. I love that. Bunch of them right there. That's gonna be perfect for stocking the pond, and for stocking my tank because everything eats those. I think we gotta go one more round. I think we have to do it. Check it out. Look at these dudes. These are the best for feeding stingrays, which I have in my tank. Oddly enough, guys, the stingray that I have in the giant pond doesn't even eat the shrimp. He, he will only eat these guys. So this is perfect for the stingray. I'm really glad that I got this much. I think we're gonna try for one more big, big bunch of them. And then we're gonna let them go in the pond. It's gonna be epic. Go! Oh, nice. I am the value hoop king, dude. Here we go. Let's go! Don't tell me I got another puffer fish. Yeah, yeah I think you did. No! Guys, even more, even more than last time. Look at that. That is, that's about a hundred of them, I would say. No, that's probably 50. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. Okay, it's a lot. So we got a lot Good of glass minnows. This is actually going to be perfect for these saltwater ponds and my tank. So we're going to give those all a go. Now I got a bunch. First things, we're putting them in the pond. I want to stock this thing, get it going, get the, get the uh, bacteria and all the whatnot going in the pond, okay? So we got a bunch of glass minnows. These are perfect for uh, little feeding fish, fish that swim around, schooling fish are dope. Now, nothing crazy. I'm just gonna put a couple in right now. See how they're doing here? They're starting off. Now, most of them I wanna put in the mini pond because I want the mini pond to just get stocked with these things. And then eventually, when I know everything's good in there, I can scoop them all out really easily with the net and put them all in this pond. So we're gonna put most of them in the mini pond. I got my little necks. I want to get as many as possible. And then, of course, we're going to save some for the grouper and uh, all the stuff in my tank. Okay, so, oh my lance. And look at all these dudes. That is so epic, bro. Look at them all. 
Let's go. Woo! The grouper is going to love that. This is what I want. I want to stock this mini pond with as many little fish as possible so that eventually when we want to throw them all in here or there's a big time feeding that we got to do, we can just scoop all these guys up, toss them in, and all the fish will be able to eat. Let's get another scoop for this, this one right here. Go, baby. We're stocking the pond. The rest of these guys I want to save for the tank. So let's go over into the tank room, aka the fish guy Chris room, and see if my grouper wants to smoke one of these things. Let's do it. Oh, the pumpkin is going to Okay, Pompano. Gotta love the Pompano. The Pompano is one of the best fish in the world. Oh, Ooh, he, missed. he missed. Here goes, here goes, here goes. Come on, he's scared of a glass. Oh, he got oh, one right yeah. there. He got one under the cave. So the squid didn't catch me anything today, probably because it's pretty low tide, not much around here. But it did help. It pretty much, it was a magnet for the glass minnows for some reason. I dropped it right, right when I dropped it into that value hoop net, they all swarmed. So the squid actually did pretty good today. I'm gonna try again on high tide. I'm gonna try again with the squid on high tide, see if we can catch a bigger fish when there's more stuff swimming around in the canal. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Click here if you haven't seen this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.